Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for mid-November. So now until the end of November, all right? So I, I'm using the Vice Versa deck and this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically I focus on love. Um, I have cut this deck as I always do for my readings. I always cut the Vice Versa deck to get the first card. And we have landed on the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Passion, okay? So it looks as though somebody is actually headed in your direction, okay? There's probably a, you know, a spark, okay? There's a spark. There's, a, see, the lightning bolt, you know, there's a, there's a, and he's holding the Ace of Wands, so somebody is headed in your direction because they're passionate about you. You know? They they are wanting to put you on the back of their horse and take you away. So, looks like somebody is headed in your direction there, Virgo. We're going to start shuffling, but um and it looks like they have some pure intentions too. I don't think this person that is coming is a, is coming just for something quick, okay? That horse is white. I think he has pure intentions and he is intending on sweeping you up and taking you away. And he's pretty passionate about what he wants, okay? He's holding that that ace of wands, you know. He wants to take you with him. There's hairs, and I really don't like it. Sorry. Anyway, um, and he's moving. He is moving, and he's cross. He's crossing. It looks like he may be crossing a desert or something. So he's he's moving at night. I mean, he's making moves when. You know, a lot of people are sleeping. I mean, he's taking the initiative, this guy is. He's, he's making moves right now, okay, as we speak. I'm wondering if we have a woman that is closed off. You know, she's she's not sure what she wants to do here. Going within to decide what she should do. It looks as though she may have to give up on a dead end situation. to bring balance and harmony to her life. But she has invested some time, perhaps on somebody else. We have, a, we have a man here that is not really happy. He's not happy because what he put in is not, be, is not going anywhere. It's not, it's not getting any better. And I think that this man is realizing that there's no more growth. There's no more growth. Maybe this man is realizing that this woman is turning her back on him. And there's grieving. There is absolutely, and you gotta see, this man is grieving. You see what's mirroring? This man is grieving. It looks as though there's another person that has more passion. Oh. Here we have the justice card. This is about the bringing balance back. Acting with integrity. Time to be honest and truthful. 
And maybe some truth has been revealed, which is making this man feel at a complete loss. Because this woman has turned her back, or she is turning her back. She is going through some sort of awakening. And, but this awakening that she is going through also involves some sort of pain and suffering. Things have been stormy for a while. And now there's an opportunity that to bring balance back to someone's life but in order to do that there's going to be a difficult decision that needs to be made based on all aspects of a situation you think about the justice system there's like there's a process right I want to hear all sides of the situation so we have somebody that is in the process of making a decision in regards to do I want to continue to invest in this dead end situation with this gloomy situation or do I want to get on the horse and that leads me to growth, excitement and passion. So there is definitely somebody that is being pulled in a new direction. And really feeling alone as they come up with the right action to take. You know, I think we have definitely have a woman here that is trying to decide what way to go. Ooh. Ace of Cups under this Knight of Wands. And there you are. Thinking about what the next step is needing to take all the time that you need to make this decision. This is refocusing. It's a time you guys are going through a period of introspection and reflection. Uh, to come up with the, the right path to take. You may be totally retreating from the world because you are faced with a very difficult decision, right? You are. There's a difficult choice here in regards to moving on. Okay, we have the Six of Swords here. Somebody is deciding whether to move on or not. This is, I mean, with the Moon card, there's, there's a cycle. You know, the Moon is about cycles. There's a cycle that is coming to an end or has come to an end or trying to come to an end that somebody is trying to escape from. Somebody has been trying to escape the reality that they are involved in a dead end situation in which there's no more growth. And they may have been trying to escape the reality because of a marriage. We have the Hierophant here and the Justice card, which could signify marriage, commitment. And in order for this woman, it looks like, to... Well, it could be a man as well because we have the man here that is... We could definitely have a dead end situation between a woman and a man. Okay, we have the woman and the man, so it could go either way in this situation. The, this situation has caused both of these people to feel discontent. And now there's an opportunity to hop on and 
trot away. There is. There's an opportunity to just <sighs> go on a new adventure. You know, start start on a on a new path, okay? And head in your, you know, head towards your heart's desire with the Ace of Cups. There's a new love connection here by the looks of things. And it's love and passion. And there's room for growth. And, you know, there's, there's this, if you see right here, there's this man on this white horse. It's probably this same man that is... Coming with an offer of love and passion, and it's exciting. So, I think that we have a new opportunity here, but it's a difficult decision to accept this offer because you may be, or somebody in this situation is committed in a commitment as we speak, and there's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of people um, watching, you know. There's a lot of uh, people the to appease, you know. It's like these people have supported you and these people have high expectations of you and therefore you are really worried about going in the new direction for fear of what everybody will say. Will they still respect you? How will they see you if you follow your heart? That's the question here. Hopefully this is zoomed in. It's not, is it? So. Either way. I mean, if you look at this Ace of Cups mirroring this Six of Swords, this is moving on towards love. We have a new offer of love here. But there's some, some hidden secrets, okay? There's some secrets, there's some deception, there's some lies. And there's a cycle that needs to come to an end. But for that to come to an end, there is going to be some pain. Through this suffering, you will receive the justice that you deserve, but you're going to have to deal with the pain and the suffering. So I, I feel like we have somebody here that was hoping for the best, was hoping that something was going to come back alive. But there's a bigger plan with the moon card. There's a hidden force here. There's something that going on behind the scenes that is wanting you to move in a new direction, but the fact that there's a commitment, it's hard to let that go. You know what I'm trying to say? There could be children involved. And, and this woman is losing her mind worrying about everybody but herself. And this man, the man in this dynamic was hoping that things were going to get better. Just sitting around hoping, 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 waiting, doing everything he possibly could to make it better. But if it's not meant to be, if there's a hidden force, if it's unreal, if it's no longer feasible, you can't escape the reality of it forever. And somebody, but, and, I mean, the man, it looks like the man and the woman 
have been trying to escape the reality of what this is. And it's time to make that difficult decision to move to peace and harmony, to do the right thing, to get your life back on track, to bring balance. These are both cards of balance, to bring balance back to your soul, to yourself, to your life. Because... It's about, the justice card is about fairness. Is it fair? Is it fair to stay in a situation that is a lie? Is that fair and just? It looks as though somebody really, really needs to take a time out and come up with come up with a new plan somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering and it looks as though they are starting to see the light There is a new offer of love. Somebody is here wanting to wanting you to go with them. But there's a lot of pain involved. There is with that Three of Swords. There's some sort of pain involved with hurting the people that have supported you. Okay? That's what this is. There's been a lot of support from others and there's a lot of pain about letting these people down. We have somebody here that really needs to dig deep and listen to their inner guide. It's like their inner guide has been telling them what they need to do, but they're trying to escape it and deny it. A lot of denial here. A lot. Your intuition and your inner guide has been telling you to make this move. Do it, do it, do it, do it. But the fact that everybody is watching and everybody, you know, that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Is that you? Is that the Virgo sign right there on there? Boy, it sure does look like it, doesn't it? down there underneath that justice card doesn't that kind of look like the Virgo sign right there you have to make a difficult decision and it is in regards to your own inner peace it's about doing the right thing for yourself So I feel like you are going to be faced with a decision because somebody is going to arrive that wants to want you to go with them. They have feelings for you. And there's an opportunity for love here and passion and growth. A change of course, a destined change of course, the wheel of fortune. You have an opportunity to master your emotions and just go. 
But I think that you know that once you go, there's no looking back. And that's the scariest part, right? We do have a choice between two lovers here, like I've said in the last reading. It's brought to you from above. There's a divine connection here. I'm going to say it again. You're not who you used to be. Somebody has evolved into a new person. Now, now you have to face this choice that you are about to make because this, this lover, this is the lovers, is here and wants your hand. And you have to choose. It's about making that choice towards balance and harmony. Six, six, six. The time is now. Now you are going to be faced with that choice because you have to choose. Love? Do you choose love? Or do you choose to escape reality? You, are being, you have an opportunity to move in a new direction that can bring you something wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful with that Wheel of Fortune. But in order for you to get what they are trying to bring you, you are going to have to jump on board and not look back. This person that is coming or has entered your life may be different, a lot different than what you're used to, but there's an undeniable connection that makes you feel so comfortable with this person. It's just like you have this inner knowing that you can be yourself with this person, the new person. You don't have to hide anything. It's a divine connection, there's no doubt. You may have to make some compromises, but there's, a, there's going to be growth and success and a whole lot of love if you find the ability to put yourself in the driver's seat of your own life and follow your heart we do have a destined change of course in which the decision is in your hands to move on. It's time to face reality and let go of the fear and the confusion because now you have to make a choice. There's no doubt. But you absolutely have to make a choice. between two which one are you gonna take it's time to take that step so you have the opportunity to bring back balance peace and harmony to your life at this point if you decide to step out of your fears and face the truth. 
Use that power that is in your hand because you have the power. Let's get one of these. The time is now. There's a purpose why things don't work out. There's a reason why we change. The temperance card is a card of purpose. It's a card of divine timing. It's a top card of evolving. It's a card of transition. You're not who you used to be and it's time to or things aren't the way they used to be. Think something has changed to the point where you can't deny it anymore because the longer you deny it, the more bitter you are becoming. Both people know this is a dead end situation. They do. It's time to be honest. It's time to do the right thing. So there's a difficult decision on the, on the table, a choice between two. We talked about this in the last reading, and you're going to be faced with it. You are faced with making the decision this week to move on because it's time. It is absolutely time. This is a destined change of course. They have brought you this opportunity for the perfect match where you can be your complete self and always, all you have to do now is make that decision. The attraction is undeniable because with your perfect match, that's how it should be. That's your card. No shit. So maybe you're maybe it's time to come up with the plan with that hermit card that we saw before. Come up with the plan. You will be more respected for following your heart and being honest than living a lie. Because somebody is absolutely trying to escape reality and living a lie, holding on to a dead end situation, thinking it's going to change when really they need to get on with it and they need to move on. Seriously. It's time for this change, of course. But the decision is in your hands. Staying wherever you're at right now is causing both people to be miserable. They have presented you with this unexpected opportunity for love because they want to see if you will accept it. They want you to be happy. They want you to be loved. They want you to honor yourself. You deserve it. So yeah, if you are single, there's a, there's somebody coming in. If you're single, you have a you have a new lover. You have somebody that is coming into your life, and once you accept their offer, there's no looking up, looking back. There's no looking back. We have Gemini, we have Cancer, we have Sagittarius, we have Libra, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Taurus, Pisces. So, it appears that you have a, you know, free will plays a part with the Wheel of Fortune. It's a free will and destiny, free will and, and destiny. You have, an, you, it's, just, it's up to you. You are being presented with this opportunity to change your life at this time with an 
go down a new road with somebody new. But this is a card of consequences as well, the lover's card. What do you choose? Do you choose your perfect match or do you choose to live in misery? It's your choice. If you choose to move on, because we have these two move on cards... Did I say cancer? We have cancer too. If you choose to move on, you will find abundance, success, victory, and you will be rewarded. It's like, I mean, this is a compass. The, it's changed. It's changed. Your direction has changed. You're not where you used to be. The more you fight it, the more miserable you will become. So this is a week of making a choice. There's no doubt. A choice. A choice between two lovers as we said, because that is exactly what this card is. It's when you, you think you're, you're, you could probably be with someone and then all of a sudden somebody new shows up. Or your heart is set on somebody else and then somebody new shows up. It's the choice, it is, it's the choice between two lovers, that's what it is. Are you ready? Because this is a week, or well this is mid-November with making a decision to choose which one do you want. You are going to be presented with an offer of love and now it's time to make that decision. You've done a lot of healing work for those of you that have been through a lot of pain, you've done a lot of healing, and the time is now for you to receive this offer. You definitely have a new opportunity for love, and that is no joke. And this person wants to just take you right away. They might want to go on a trip with you. They might want to take you, I mean, literally take you away. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. That's probably what got you in trouble in the first place. Anyway, um, keep going. One more. Oh, this is perfect. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is pretty much this card right here. It is. It's time for you to head in this new direction. It really is. You can't escape the reality forever. You can't make something grow that is dead. You cannot. And that's the reality of it. You have an opportunity to accept this offer from somebody new. Your soulmate is different from your usual type and expectations. Go for it. This person is not your usual type, but they really are your perfect match. Good luck.